This is me on the first day in Palworld and this is me on the 100th day in Palworld. But how did we get there? Um. Hi. So this is how we got here. Now grab some snacks, sit back, relax and let's embark on an adventure together for 100 days in Palworld. This took me 46 hours of gameplay recording, so please subscribe and leave a like on this video. Palworld is a game where you spawn in a world with many pals. You can catch pals and you can use them in combat or in your base to work for you to get resources. If you place your pal box down, you get a circle in which you can build your base. You can also fight bosses in this game and uncover the map. Yeah, and that's all you need to know before the start. Toby Cube, yeah, that's good. Smash. Arm size, boom. Leg size, boom. Torso size, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're thick, you know? <laughs> Damn, okay, start game. <laughs> Look at us, bro. <laughs> Look at this character model. Damn, okay. Chill, bro. I would hit. <laughs> Towers are the key. The tree holds the truth. Towers are the key. Brother, we're not, we're not cosplaying Al-Qaeda, are we? You just gonna see my first experiences with the game from day one to day 12. So the first thing we did as a sane human being is to test the fall damage in this game. So Fall damage is easy. Oh, okay. So this is like Ark where we, th th this reminds me of Ark. Wait, what was that? Why did the guy T-post? Did you see that? Why did my guy just T-post? I was about to say. Yeah! Extremely weak and far too delicious. Brother, I, I just I just caught a friend. Did it, I'm not gonna eat it. What are you? I, are you aggressive? Are you friendly? Can I kill you? Brother, I'm doing no damage. Um, all right, we're not we're not doing that expedition survivor. Hey, who are you? Hi But you don't need to pull a shotgun on me Wait, what happens if we build if we stand inside while we're building it? What happens then? Oh Okay My chicken is it um Where the hell is the chicken gone brother just face f through the floor? Please, please. We got ourselves a Gamos. How do I... Wait, I need to get him... Hey, I need to get him in the Pokemon again. Hey, brother, come back. How do I... Wait, how do I get you in? Hey, he's not running me. Come back, bro. Hey, my Pokemon's... My Pokemon's going away. Oh, I need to... Oh, I need to press E again. I thought... I thought I was about to catch... I need to catch him, bro. Build shoddy bed. Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. You right if we go to my shoddy bed and make out? <laughs> What is bro even hammering? There's nothing to be hammered there. Welcome to a presidential suite where we got this little thing here. We got your king size bed. Wait, where's my hand? Why is my hand stuck inside my body? Capture five lamb balls. I don't, I don't really don't want to do that. 75%. Please, I need this. Yeah, 100%. Let's go. Wait, he's unstable. Okay, we gotta we gotta have some fox bar. fox parks. Wait, what is syndicate thug? Brother, the shooting. Hey, yo, 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 chill. Ow, this don't shoot me. Well, now we're cosplaying America. Or what is this? Grass skill, fruit spider man. This is like a skill tree. <laughs> Three new skills for my pals. Can I? Chop this thing down. I think I cannot chop this down. Wait, what? I can I can hold my fox parks and then use it as a flamethrower. Okay, let's make the cloth outfit. Great. Wait, are there shinies in this game? This is a shiny, right? Well, you sure do hit like a shiny. Yo, eight, stop, chill. 
Well, I don't like the fact that you have a boss bar over your head. Well, that was to be expected. Common shield, let's go. Fireball, let's go. Well, we got a Tan Z now. Little ape. Well, look at you. I want you. Wait, we can respawn though at the base. Well, we can respawn again. 10%. Well, that, that's not gonna work, is it? Wait. Wait, what? What are the odds? Holy shit. Try out the damage. Jesus. I've got the Statue of Power here to level up our base. Yeah, let's create up our character. Capture Power Enhanced. Let's build a logging site while we're at it. The stone Pit is also great. And would you look at that. My pals are all working in the base. You two are, yeah, doing nothing, but that's okay. Well, how did that miss? How did that miss? Hey! Hey! Okay, you gotta stand still. You gotta stand still. No! F nah! No way! Ain't no way! Okay. Let's get the crusher. And, the, of course, the poison bow and arrow. Well, if you're at my base, I could attack you with all my pals, can I? Well, well, that they're, they're doing no damage. Oh my god, yeah. Might as well let him kill me. Oh, Rain Syndicate Tower. Okay. Wait, hold up. Why they keep you in a cage, bro? That's a bit messed up. Let's free you. You're mine. Thank you. Oh, you, you're interacting my pal box. Nice. Let's fight the first boss. I don't know how hard it is. Maybe, maybe it's like level 30 or something and then we just die, but let's try it. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. Or do we? Oh, yeah, that's the cutscene. Oh, is that? No, that's not me. No, that, that's certainly not me. Who you got? Do you, do you always spend time in the tower? Jesus Christ. Hey, okay, Wolverine, what's up? Are these two always in the tower? Zoe and Grisbold. I had us kick their ass. Well, um, I didn't really, the, uh, I didn't really hope that I win this fight, I can't lie. Hello, anyone home? It's pretty empty here, is it? Let's get you. The other one I don't need. Easy. Hot springs for you. Whoa, what the hell is this? As long as you feel good. And with this one we can smelt metal, I think. Wait, your name is Fuok? Hey, no way. So, on day 12, I explored for another waypoint, I crafted a boss saddle, and I died to the penguin boss, unfortunately. Then I tried to rescue a pal from a camp, but there were way too many enemies, and I died. Tragic. Day 13, though, I rescued the floppy without needing to fight. And then I killed my first boss, the level 11 chillet, not the memorous, don't even think about it. I got new skills from the skill tree, because it does reset. And I realized that there is ancient technology in that you can craft yourself stuff like a grappling gun or an incubator. And day 14 was insane. I got the incubator, the advanced workbench, a metal pickaxe. I tried to uncover the map more and explored a bit. I nearly died while trying to pick up Lift, lift Monk Effigy, which is your level up system basically in the game. Then we got ourselves a Mao Christ in a cage from these syndicate people. We got some new pals, including a Lee's Punk, and I found another ability tree, as I like to call them. Then I rescued a second pal called Flambelle, and incubated the egg and got another water pal. And I gotta say, day 14 so far was the most successful day. Let's start into day 15. I got a level 17 dinosaur, which is incredible, and assigned new pals in my camp that I got yesterday. I leveled up a bit, I equipped myself, I got a cow and an OP bird. And then I died like this. Yeah. No way. They, on day 16, I started the day with crafting an assault rifle out of a Tan Z. Probably. Don't really know how that works, but I guess let's go. I also got myself a Panking. 
and a flamethrower. How? Well, I can basically use my pal to throw flames. Brother, what's this? <laughs> this is some next level slavery right here. I tried to fight the boss, but it didn't work. It was close though. And I ended up with a freshly hatched pal. On day 17, I finally got the glider. Now we don't need to die when we jump off a cliff. I equipped myself again and fought the boss again. Tom, bet you first. Go do something, man. Go do something. I don't I just want to keep running away and from spray from a distance, yeah? Can't be bothered. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. You're not getting me with this. You're not catching me alive today. You're not catch. Well. No, no, no. Please get away, get away, get away, get away. Yeah, Pustain. You do it, my brother. Let's go. Oh, that was close. Pustain, please. Defeat him. Yes! Pustain, the MVP. I defeated the boss. Well, who would have thought? Because of Pustain, brother carried me through the whole fight. And because I just finished the first boss, I thought, okay, you know what? Let's try to fight the king of the forest, the Mamarest. Well, Bro, realize checked me so hard, I straight up fell through the map. So this is probably a good moment to tell you that I kind of played around with how long the days were. I made them 10 minutes, I made them 30 minutes or one hour, and I just kind of felt around what is the right time. So yeah, now some days may go quicker than others, and this is why. On day 18, I got a wolf saddle. Nothing else, basically. I just did some farming, did some everything around the base, but... I got a wolf settled, nice. On day 19 and 21, I left to explore a bit more. I started leveling a bit more and I stand no chance in advanced regions. I realized that very quickly. I didn't know how big the map was back then, so I thought these were the advanced regions. On day 22, I spent the whole day trying to get my stuff back. <laughs> it took so long. On day 23 to 25, I equipped to get myself good fire pals for the second boss and free to Dumut and nearly died in the hot region because of... Yeah, it's hot. That's it. On day 26 to 28, I thought it'd be a good idea to try and take down a Memorest with my whole camp, with my whole base, all pals. I thought, yes, now it is time to destroy a Memorest. Yeah, my base was basically done for. This took two days and two nights. Everything got destroyed. But I got a chill out of an egg, which is pretty nice. On day 29 to 30, I basically farmed flame organs. I, well, I tried to farm flame organs, but I was unsuccessful. I don't know how I'm unsuccessful in finding one of the easiest resources to find in the game. I just need to locate fire pals, but that was an impossible task. I spent two days and didn't even get one. On day 31, I got a level 23 Vixie that can give me free items in my ranch and entered a dungeon. Yeah, instantly died there. On day 32, I fought the Penkin boss and easily won. Look, look how far we've come. On day 33, I built the ranch where my Vixie can get free stuff. Then I went to the merchant in the city and bought 67 flame organs because I was so upset that I didn't have any. On day 31, I made a heat resistant armor to go back to catching fire pelts because, yeah, the second boss is grass type. On day 35, I found a huge scorching egg and was like, damn, this is gonna be my best fire pelt. Let's see. On day 36, I got an Incineram, very high level. They attacked me and I tried to run away and then they got caught in the water and I was like, well, this is fortunate. And yeah, I got one for free, basically. On day 37 to 44, I was preparing for the second boss fight, including clearing first dungeons, gearing up, rescuing a new pal, a van worm, which is hopefully my new transportation method for the future. On day 44, it was finally time to face the second boss. Oh, hello. How we doing? Okay. Yeah, ain't no way that <laughs> this pal makes that noise. Hell nah. How big is this thing? Huh? Hmm. 
Is it bigger than the first boss or, or is it smaller? Jesus, my crossbow does no damage. Holy crap. Oh, let's not get hit by that. I. What the hell? How did that kill me? Yeah, after failing miserably and getting one shot by basically everything, I decided to get my new fire pals to the mountains to farm levels. On day 45 to 47, I was incubating all the eggs, got a loop moon and a blaze howl knot, which looks... Brother, what the hell is this thing? This will be my new best pal, my new partner. This is gonna be my tactic to win. On day 48, I finally got my first flying mount. Its stamina is pretty bad though. I also got a kelp sea ignis from an egg. Just wanted to throw that out there. It's not that it's important or something. On day 49, I built a cooler and a sphere workbench because it was my base level up task and now I got two bases I can build. So I decided this base, this area is not good enough. Let's relocate my base and it's easier if I can have two bases at the same time so I can have my main base. I built another base and while I'm building that my main base doesn't need to get destroyed. So I built a new main base. This went from day 50 to 59. Nine days of just base building. Okay, we need some straw pal bats and a stone pit, of course. Okay, we put it there, I think. Nice, we're done with our little house here. Statue of power is very important. Then we got the logging site. Of course, berry plantation. Of course, feed box. They, they don't starve here, okay? The thing I don't know what it is for. Berry plantation is nice, but four is better. Well, the crusher. We, we need that for paladin fragments. Not to mention the breeding farm. Most important thing of the base, we need cakes. We need cakes to breed them. For cakes, we need honey, flour, milk and eggs, I think. One wheat plantation. Let's just put the second one here. Of course, the mill to make flour. Then, of course, the cooking pot for the cakes, where they eventually be cooked. Then the primitive furnace, I can't afford another one. I don't think I have unlocked another one. At least I'm, maybe I'm blind. Well, this is the repair station. Easy. Well, don't forget the egg incubator. Where, where should we put our ranch? We, we need to produce eggs and milk and honey, that's in there, okay. My goal is to just breed as many pals as I can and hopefully get many Anubis because Anubis is a pal that is pretty OP in terms of combat and in terms of, you know, to have in your base. Day 60 to day 75 was the great second boss chapter, you could say. I tried the boss for a second time, I failed again. So I decided to breed more Anubis and to get a bushy which can be captured because it's a boss in a dungeon. So, before the boss, I got a new plant pal, Brawn Cherry. I got Bushy to 27 HP, but I couldn't capture it before it killed me. I decided to give Bushy a second try, but the guy just absolutely destroyed me. I instantly went back for a re-rematch. As you can see, I got the win. I got myself a Bushy, which is a very strong fire pal against the boss. And with a Bushy and a Panking, you can also breed an Anubis. I also wanted to breed more Anubis, but this little shit here took way too long to make a cake. I went for a test run with my new Bushy and the guy is absolutely insane. It looks like a human, so I'm, I can call it the guy, bro. It basically looks like a samurai. I unlocked kind of a sketchy handgun, it's not the normal handgun, some, some other handgun, but I guess I'll take it. And I worked towards making that. I need so much iron, I decided to start my second base in a region that has coal. Of course it had iron as well, like, <laughs> don't think I'm stupid. I finally got the weird handgun and an epic headgear, so now it was time to challenge the boss again on day 71. I was stupid and instantly died, but that doesn't count, okay? That, that doesn't count as a try, right? Anyway, I decided to cheese the boss. Apparently, in PAL world, you can cheese a boss by getting a wanted level, by just, you know, shooting some random PADF officer in, in the small camp in the head, and then you get a wanted level. If you then teleport to the boss and, you know, keep your wanted level, they gonna follow you into the boss room and they can attack the boss. If you don't attack the boss and they attack the boss, you can capture the boss with a pal sphere. This is a bug I saw and I was like, damn, let's go do that and try to have fun. But 
I thought they patched it on the same day because it didn't work for me. Well, about that. Let's see if it works later on. Oh yeah, I actually fought the boss again and nearly killed him, but then I died sadly. Then, day 76 to 80. I got a new Anubis, finally a female, so I can breed them together now. I farmed for some eggs because all my pals always eat them. Then I rescued an Arsox for my base, which is, yeah, nice to have, I guess. I bred two Anubis again, my army is gonna be insane, yo. We are getting so many Anubis here, crazy. I also bred two Van Worms to keep it, you know, leveled, because in the second base I need Anubis and Van Worms to work on iron and coal, because Van Worms can transport and Anubis can mine. And while they were breeding, I tried the boss again. Yeah, fuck these two. I leveled up my base again by building two very comfortable beds. Look at them, bro, I like to sleep in them. I started to breed another Veridash to help my base, and I started to uncover the whole map. I thought I made a large expedition, but can't lie. Looking back, the map is really not uncovered. <laughs> it's really not uncovered. I rescued some pals, bought a Univolt from a handler, because I just can. I found a huge dragon egg. I tried to capture a pal in the new mountain region, but yeah, look at them levels. <laughs> yeah, I nearly died. I continued to find a lot of eggs in high level regions, so here is what I got. I got a Joltog, which is nice for electricity. I got a Raindrix, a Wampo, a Relaxorus from the huge dragon egg, which was a bit of a disappointment since I knew you could get Yormantide Agnes from there, but more of them later. And I also caught a Ragnarok level 37, but the saddle is unfortunately available at level 37, so we cannot ride it. I got a Memorous Crist also, a Kitsune. A second could soon, and I also got a Univolt, which I just bought for money. I also got a Sibilix. I made the Musket, which does incredible damage, but has a reload time of 3 to 5 business days, bro. This thing is not reloading. Now, anyway, we, we were on to the second boss. I've more prepared than I've ever been. Let's do this, okay? We got our Musket, our makeshift handgun, a fire arrow crossbow, I got cold resistant pellet armor, oh let's put that on, feathered hairband, epic, we got a mega shield, we got our lineup, level 30, level 29, level 30, level 30, level 30, let's go. Let's not... Oh my god, this was so stressful to get. Ah, uh, the thing it was kinda easy. It was kinda easy, that's the biggest problem. Like, it really was kinda easy. So, level 31 we got the boss done. Finally! Also, I put a sphere assembly line in my base to upgrade my base again. I also reached level 31 where I unlocked the high quality hot springs. Which none of you will get right now. You think this is some kind of vacation here? Nah, this is hard slave labor. You you get your regular hot spring. That's all you can ask for. I went on the search for a huge dragon eggs because I hey, I need that Yormantide Agnes, you know. While doing that, I unlocked the waypoint in front of the tower and the temptation was high to try and fight the boss. But I stayed strong, yeah. I didn't do it, okay? You proud? I finally found my huge dragon egg and it looked so nice, I wanted it twice. I didn't find another one, sadly. On day 83, I got a pal from an egg looking OP as hell. I captured a Mosando and finally got a Yormantide Agnes from the huge dragon egg. On day 84 to 85, I was just breeding Anubis and went out to level my Yormantide Agnes. Oh, and I have heat resisting metal armor now. Look at this, bro, I'm styling. And also a mega shield, which took me about an hour of farming to get, but this will be worth it. So on day 90, I had my first try on the third boss. Yeah, yeah, let's die. <laughs> I'm ready for battle. I forgot that this is like a game that you play with others as well. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> we are definitely dead. Okay, yeah, this <laughs> excellent Orzerg. 
We are dead. There is no way we live. There is no way we live. Yeah. No fucking way we live. Oh, uh, and I missed my first shot. That's basically GG's, isn't it? Okay, that did no damage. Oh my god, yes, we are done. <laughs> Boys, we are so dead. I don't like the damage of my pals, considering, like, that they are type advantage. <laughs> Wait, we're nearly halfway, so... Even if we would live, we're not doing it in time. <laughs> yeah, we, we're, not, we're not getting him in the, in the next 10 days. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and then 81 to 94, close to the end, I was like, let's get the whole map uncovered. I quickly abandoned that though because, bro, this flying mode is so slow. It took me about half an hour to get, not even through one biome. I was like, okay, that, this is not gonna work. I still got two huge dragon eggs I found sim in a similar location. And we hope for a jet dragon because they can also be in there. Bro, bro, you good? My guy is edging to this device. What the hell? Anyway, I was farming memorests for leather. Yes, you heard right. The pals that absolutely destroyed my base while I tried to fight it with about 40 of my pals. I'm just farming now. Also, I got two more Yomata Agnes. Sadly, no Jet Dragon, but... Okay, you can't have everything, okay? I, I, I'm not that lucky. Day 95 to 99. The last stretch in our story. I decided to have a little fun with the game and captured a level 24 PIDF guard and a level 5 syndicate duck. <laughs> I wanted to see if the guards can kill the boss and I captured him instead. Well, glad. the good news are you are not granted a win if you just capture the boss. The last time I tried it, it didn't work, but now it somehow worked. Since it worked once, I was like, okay, why not have fun on the final days and try it with every other boss. The fourth boss it didn't work with because it's flying all the time and it's a bit yeah, it's a bit annoying to try and... I didn't get it. But Victor and Shadowbeak, on the other hand, were perfectly capturable. So I got a 200,000 HP boss in my inventory. The final thing I did on day 99 was I crafted a Ragnarok saddle. And the thing is way faster than my Van Worm. Bro, I, I'd love to have this one way early in the game. And then day 100 came. After 46 hours of filming, and grinding the game, it is finally over. A long journey we took together. Well, let me show you my progress after the 100 days. And please, let me know in the comments if this is bad for 100 days. I saw, I, I watched another video and I was like, okay, this guy is way stronger than I am after 100 days. After 100 days, 46 hours of gameplay recorded. I can't wait to edit this. <laughs> We are finally, look, day 100. I fought everybody, I wanted to fight, I tried to break the game, I captured pals, I explored, I did everything, I farmed, I base building was one of my key... I, I, I did so much base building, yeah? <laughs> it's, it's probably the main part I spent my time on, is base. We got our three assembly lines here, great for crafting, we got the breeder here with uh, and a good amount of cake in here, I think. Yeah, 20 cakes. The map looks like this, yeah? 100 days, the map looks like this. Uh, not too much. I just flew around and searched for these bad boys here, these teleport waypoints to have. Let's see our base from up here. Yeah, we got my house there. We got all these pals working here. We have a second base right here in the newer region i would say in one of one of the one of the more advanced regions on top of a hill it's absolutely looking fantastic look we got van worms and anubis working here to farming materials this is our coal and iron farm and they produce pretty good amount of iron and coal i mean there are 14 pals right now in the base look who we got we got a Rayhound, we got a we got a cow, a sheep, a chicken, we got a Swee, we got two Azeropes, we got a Bee Guard, we got an Anubis, we got a Wampo, we got three Verdashes, we got one Yormtide Agnes, 
We got a dick toys and we got another chicken. <laughs> yeah, twat. The chicken is, is is an OG here. Let's go over our pals. We, we got some pretty OP pals. We got some more Anubis. I got one in my deck always. It's not the strongest one, but I've got one that is level 39, level 43. Yeah, it's level four, 43, but lower to level 39. We got a level 38 Ragnarok, which we can fly on now, which is absolutely nice. Way better than a Van Worm. We got a level 36 Fanglobe. I just put that in my deck because I needed more variety than just Fire Pelts since all of them. My strongest one are Fire Pelts. We got the Blaze Howl Knocked, which is in insanely OP, pal. Crazy. We got Victor and Shadowbeak, the last boss, because I just felt like capturing it, yeah? <laughs> And we, of course, got excellent Ozerg as well, as well, level 40, the third boss. And we also got a, got a PIDF guard. Got a, we got a shiny, our own, I think this is our only shiny, right? Yeah, our only shiny pal is a cow. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, we got some other stuff and we got some bosses. We got a Quiven here, we got the King Packer, the Bushy is a, is a boss. Who else? We got, we got some other stuff. We got many pals. You can look. You can pause this video and look what pals we got. It's nice. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of pals. We got 112 pals. So you can see for yourself. We got some <laughs> enthu enthusiastic. Yeah, we got some, we got some syndicate ducks. We got some other people in here, which I captured yesterday. So what level are we? We are level 39. Anyway, a long journey has come to an end. Some people record this in three months. I recorded this in <laughs> about one week, a bit more. I'm dead inside and I can't. Yeah, it took very long. I'm probably not gonna do a video anytime soon where I spend this much time, but please like and subscribe so it was worth it, please. Otherwise, this video is just gonna get like 500 views and nothing, nothing happens, yeah? I have so many things in mind to do with the community. But I just need the community. So, you know, <laughs> follow my Twitch channel, subscribe to my YouTube, do all this stuff. Follow me on Instagram if you want, on, on, on TikTok. On TikTok, I post, I try to post daily. I'm not posting daily, but I try to post daily. Take care. Peace.